hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically we can export all the youtube subscribers public subscribers list inside your google sheet using google app script basically if you have a youtube channel you are running a youtube channel you will be obviously be wanting to get a list of your all your subscriber name alongside with their channel url you can obviously check out which people have subscribed to your channel so this will be a very useful script which will allow you to export the list of all the subscribers alongside with all their information so now if i run this script guys you will see that automatically it will run the script and uh, automatically fetches all the uh, public subscribers alongside with their information is listed now inside this google sheet so i have a lot of subscribers 26000 you can see that now it has automatically fetched all the information you will see that the name of the subscribers of my channel alongside with the user id this is a channel id and this is the actual channel if i check out this i can simply click and and basically i can go to their channel and this is the public only the subscription only the people which allows the channels to be subscriptions to be public only they will be shown the private subscriptions will not be shown so in this way guys you will see that all the uh, channels that they have subscribed to so this is the very easy way by which you can get the subscribers the names of your subscription see my channel is subscribed by this user coding siksha you can see 26000 they are listed here so in this easy way guys you can check out your subscribers information you can check out their names and alongside with the channel url and on which date they have subscribed to your channel and which time you can see all this information is returned by youtube api and we are making use of google app script to directly interact with this api so you can see that it's very simple a total of thousand subscribers are returned to you which are very often so i think only it's a limit by the api only thousand will be returned to you and uh, uh, I have a lot of subscribers 26,000 so only the top 1000 subscribers are returned to me this is more than enough that if you want to get information about your subscribers the top 1000 one is if you are giving away some winners you will need to have the information so this is the application we will be building guys so basically I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so the link is given in the description of this video so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code alongside with step by step instruction so now get let's get started by building this application guys so first of all I will recommend that you should go to google sh sheet here so first of all we will google sheet and we will make a new sheet here so go to google sheet and basically click on go to sheet and create a blank sheet and basically you can rename this sheet to simply double click and simply say here youtube list and you don't need to create anything any column here so automatically it will be created by itself now you simply need to go to extensions tab and go to app script so here we will write the actual code guys which is required for this purpose and basically what we need to do we need to simply go to your project settings and here you need to uh, just tick mark this option show this app script.json manifest file and simply if you go to here this file will be shown to you and here you need to add some uh, uh, guys you need to add a scope out there so OAuth scope so this is called as OAuth 2 scopes so they are simply what information that you are getting from the API YouTube API so basically we need the view as access of your YouTube account so that we can view the information about our subscribers and also the spreadsheet also so you need to add these two scopes out there guys which are shown here So I can simply now <laughs> write these scopes out there that is seen here. So OAuth 2 scopes, OAuth sorry, OAuth scopes here. And basically this will be a simple array. The first scope will be HTTPS www. 
गूगल ए पी आईस गूगल ए पी आईस डॉट कॉम स्लैश और स्लैश यूट्यूब रीड ओनली सो वी आर ओनली एक्सेसिंग द रीड स्कोप सो वी कॉन्ट अपलोड द वीडियो वी कॉन्ट डिलीट द वीडियो वी कैन ओनली रीड द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट अवर चैनल सो वी जस्ट नीड द सब्सक्राइबर लिस्ट सो दैट द स्कोप इज मोर देन इनफ so put a comma the second scope we want is the spreadsheet full access we need can be creating spreadsheets or we can delete spreadsheets for that we will be writing slash auth slash spread sheets that's it so you just need to add these two lines of code guys so simply save this and now you need to go to your <laughs> it is saying that invalid auth scopes let me cross check o oh, sorry s needs to be capital here sorry guys so s needs to be capital again save this project so now the project is saved go to code.js file guys so here we will write the actual function for getting the subscribers so first of all we need to simply get the sheet url so here we will simply say that spreadsheet id so here you just simply need to paste the spreadsheet id and also the sheet name so these are two constant variables so if you go to your sheet guys basically this is the id of the sheet here simply in the address bar so what we can say we can simply copy this and paste it here and the name of the sheet is this one at the bottom sheet one this is the name here you can even change the name as well sheet1 and after this guys we will make a function which is called as get public subscribers so this will only get the public subscription names out there for you we will create a result variable and this time we will use youtube dot subscription subscriptions dot list method and basically guys uh, for using this youtube keyword here we need to add a service so right here in the left hand side create add this service which is youtube data api version 3 so inside this our subscription data will be returned to us so simply add this service guys so this contains a list method and here we will be attaching some arguments guys which is subscriber snippet so this will get the subscriber information and then we will get the snippet and the content details so put a comma here and the next option it takes is the property called as my subscribers so we only need to return the subscribers of my channel and also the max result property guys so there is a restriction out there at one go how many subscribers you can get so i will put the max limit which is 50 so at one go it will fetch 50 subscribers and the subsequent calls it will mo fetch more so here we will first of all store the token that it returns for the pagination so for the first 50 subscribers it will have this result dot next page token this is a property and depending upon this property guys if more if the subscribers are more than 50 then we will run it for the second time as long as we will store these subscribers first of all subs this will be the array here which will have the property result dot items and after this we will use a simple while loop guys so here we will simply check for the next page token as long as this value is not equal to null then we will perform these operations which is again we will use the same logic here so you can just copy this here and paste it this is a, all the same code that we are using here again we are inserting we are getting the list of the subscribers guys you just getting the same information and this time we need to pass the third parameter guys which is called as the page token property page token and this this property is needs to be inserted double quotes so page token guys we will be initializing it to the next page token that we got so after this guys we will once again check here after this we will make again make a next page token to be result dot next page token 
after this guys we need to push this into the our array here so we will simply say dot 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 result dot items that's it this is all that we need to do guys inside this so if you see here this while loop is now ending here after we do this this while loop will end here inside this curly bracket that's all inside this while loop you can see we are again fetching the same information and this time we are getting the page token so we are simply attaching this next page token so if now it becomes null here the while loop will break if it is not null then again we will loop through we will again do the same process again and again and push it inside the subs array which is an empty array by default it contains this result dot items and once again we are appending it like this so now guys after getting the list of subscribers inside our subscribers array now the time has come to simply insert this inside our spreadsheet so if you see here we can simply insert it by the spreadsheet so there is a spreadsheet app method and open it by the id so we have provided the id which is inside this variable spreadsheet id and then we can even get the sheet name sheet1 so ss dot get sheet by name and here we will pass the sheet name constant variable after this guys we will get the data range property here and this time we will get the get data range property after this guys we will get the subs id range or this we we don't know we don't need this we will simply map we will use the subs array here and we will use the map method here for each subscribers what we need to do guys inside this arrow function we need to get the information so first information we will get is the snippet so this is subscribers dot subscriber snippet so after this we need to return this information from it the snippet we need to return the snippet dot title and snippet dot channel id and snippet and also we need to attached dynamically which is the channel url so the the syntax remains the same for channel url guys the starting syntax which is https www.youtube.com and after that slash channel and then the dynamic variable which is a snippet dot channel id that's it so that's it guys so then we can even put a comma and basically we can show the date and time whenever they subscribe to the channel so subscribe snippet dot published at that's it so this will contain all this information guys that i showed you early on the table it will return this information now we simply need to uh, inside the if condition we just need to check that if the values which is written obviously this map function return an array guys so we are simply getting the length of that array which is values dot length if it is equal or if it is greater than zero then we perfectly know that there is some subscribers there so we need to load them inside the screen basically this is a logic guys which is required in order to insert the subscribers and show them inside google sheet let me paste it you will see we are starting from the we are calculating the number of rows and this is the logic behind so simply guys now if i save this and now if i try to run this so early on you need to grant permission guys whenever you run for the very first time you need to grant the permission before you are running it so this will ask for a simple review permission screen here and you need to select your youtube channel here let me select my coding siksha channel and this is perfectly fine this is your own app that's why there is no nothing to worry about and simply you can see this is a scopes out there simply click allow and now this will execution started so basically in a few time it will embed all the you can see that 
subscriber information is successfully embedded inside the Google Sheet. You can see alongside with channel ID, channel URL, date of time when they subscribe to channel. So this is very much useful for channel YouTube channel owners, guys. So if you're giving, if you're just doing giveaways, you need the channel URL members. So in this way, you can do this process in Google Apps Script. All the source code is given in the description of this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.